yes, we hope by logo, ladies and gentlemen. Seconds are now asking to cancel GK6. It is finally happening. We ended up getting the trailer. And let's be real, man. There was so much ass in that trailer, bruh. Bruh. There was so many burnouts, and guess what? That that alone is getting people talking about the situation. Hashtag ban GK6 is trending. We did it, my brothers. We did it. Everybody's talking about it. But on our real though, like the video if GK6 shouldn't be banned. Dislike the video if you think it should be canceled, it should be banned. Like, like seriously, bro, I wanna know where you guys at, and let's actually talk about this important topic because, yup, guys, after 10 years, like, look at that crap. I mean, that was nasty, I do agree with that, but this all started last night with Jackson Hinkle. Now, Jackson Hinkle has been posting a lot of, like, political stuff. I don't wanna talk about that political stuff. Obviously, it's kinda sad as to, not kinda, I mean, it is fully sad as to what's happening in the world. This video is not about that. He has some good uh, tweets, he has some horrible tweets. When I say horrible, I, I mean, like, the events that are actually happening in the real world. It is horrible, let's just agree on that. But then, Men makes a 180 completely, says that why are the Zionists at Rockstar Games releasing this highly dope mean? I cannot say some words on YouTube. High dope mean video games for children in America. Get hashtag ban GTS6 training right now. Uh, now, I do agree that kids, like, let's be real, right? Like, kids shouldn't be playing this game. I do agree with that. Like, our young generation completely is lost, man. Completely lost. I do mean that wholeheartedly, okay? What's happening in the real world? Crazy! Crazy timeline we're living in, okay? There was so much ass, there was so much burnout. I mean, at this point, bro, y'all suck is better change the GTA name to GTA Burnout Edition 5 or 6, okay? <laughs> Uh, six, my bad, six, my bad. So I do agree with the sentiment that kids should not be playing this game. But my guy, did you know this is gonna be a shocker, okay? Crazy story that this game is rated for mature. Whoa. Yay, yay, so much so that this even got community noted. Every major Grand Theft Auto release with a few exceptions related to a console port has been rated mature 17 plus. Everybody. Give it up, give it up for that. And the replies are extreme sauce. This is what I love to see, guys. The game is for adults uh, or 18 plus. It's for the adults. Are you tripping, man? You're an effing, uh, that's the homie RGT85. Not so polite tweet right there. Not so polite reply. And if you think this is the only tweet, you are wrong. Oh shit! You oh, are shit. wrong, my friend. I should have played that oh shy sound effect when I, uh, when I, I'm gonna show you right now. 23 likes? 23k likes? Are you guys kidding me right now? Can I brother get two likes on the video or something like that? Now listen, man. Guys, uh, sit down, okay? And here we go. Play this. Okay, gamers, today we're going to be <laughs> laughing at some yeah. absolute morons. And I just want to start things off and say, no direct hate towards these individuals. We're going to be talking yeah, about people. Yeah, same here, man. No direct hate. At the end of the day, though, I do agree that our young generation completely lost. Everybody's out here just chasing the pom-pom. Guys, don't chase the pom-pom. Chase your dreams, okay? That I do agree with. Smash the like button, subscribe right now. But this game no, is go, for... Go. Not for the kids. It's the parents' job, okay? It's the parents' job to buy them or not buy them, I guess. Who uh, right? seem to absolutely despise... Grand Theft Auto 6, yeah. which is definitely a confusing position to hold. 99% of the internet is completely in love with the GTA 6 trailer, hyper analyzing every frame, trying to get clues yep, about yep. the location. In fact, we just did a one hour long video on that, guys. Bruh. One hour. And let me tell you, man, you must stay focused. If you watch that video, we had 250 gameplay leaks. We had the, the we talked about the rumors. We also talked about the official news, the trailer breakdown. There was everything in that video. I will link you at the end, boys. The gameplay, the characters, but one percent of the internet seems to think this game is somehow evil. That it's having you do terrible things that are going to destroy society, <laughs> including <laughs> Elon Musk. What? The no way! No, yeah, I was seeing some tweets. Uh, even the homie Elon just uh, went in gang gang though. Like, let's actually check it out. I'm Richest intrigued. man in the world is not happy with Grand Theft Auto and is even trying to block it on Twitter. Yeah. This is baffling. I, we gotta laugh at it. Hi, I'm Dreamcast Guy. If you could like this video and subscribe, and subscribe. if you haven't already. Yeah. Like and subscribe, my boys. Like and so subscribe. So let's just start things off, though, with the positive and say this. 
it's very obvious that most people are completely overwhelmingly fawning over this trailer. It, it not true, only is it true, super true, fun, true, it's true, got lots true. of flashy graphics and cool locales, but it's actually the number one trending on the entire Dang. internet right now. And on top of that, this is 8. now 4. the biggest video game trailer ever and it's ever. actually close that is crazy though like 85 million in 21 hours that is absolutely insane especially for a video game trailer i mean i i heard that they broke mr beast record oh shit oh, yeah they broke mr beast record for the most viral video for uh under under 24 hours and i wouldn't be shocked if it's like in real time views this is sitting at 100 million because sometimes uh, for me right like i appreciate all of you guys out there if you're new come on in usually i get i have a small channel alive right here usually i would get like 1.5k on a good day 3,000 views in one single hour Bruh. that is a lot of people okay i appreciate every single one of you so whenever i would get like 1.5k or 3,000 views in uh in real time on the video on the youtube player it would show somewhere around like 500 to a thousand views Bruh. but in real time it's like a lot more than that and it just takes time to update so i wouldn't be shocked if it's uh, sitting at 100 mil to the biggest trailer of all time this is one of the biggest videos that's ever been created so i mean obviously it's easy to state the fact that a majority of people are very much on team rockstar yep, and that's yep, why yep, it's hard yep, not to yep. be a bit confused yep, by yep, the people yep, that yep, seem yep, to yep, yep, i mean yep, quite yep. frankly not get it like this one here grand theft auto 6 looks like modern day america i thought people played video games to escape reality yeah this is what i'm talking about guys we are gonna laugh and sing together <laughs> So, okay, I'm sure some people are beginning to cringe and freak out. I, I totally feel your pain. This is a person that probably doesn't know what video games are. I yeah. said this. Some people are too uh, uh, too stupid to understand video games and are very loud about it. That is crazy. This bro. game is satire. I I'm not sure if you even know what that word means because GTA it's so is. high and advanced level. But basically, it's now I I do agree that like it was Bundestag, Bundestag everywhere. Okay, like it's not even Vice City no more. It's like Bundestag. I do agree with that. There is just so much. There was so much ass in that video, bro. <laughs> Bruh. I do agree with that, but bruh, like that's Miami, that's Florida, and GTA is like depiction of that. GTA is like the exaggerated version of that. It, 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 it's satire, like the homie said. It'll be like that. Obviously, in the actual game, we're not gonna see too much of that crap, or maybe we are gonna see. Oh. We're gonna see. It. We're gonna see a lot more of that. M maybe, maybe you're right, but but this was the trailer, right? This was strong, independent. This was Lucia right there. I just hope that the game isn't too woke though the game is surely gonna be a little bit woke but watching this trailer makes me believe that it's not gonna be too woke though i know there are rumors going around that lucia is actually tr a transformer oh shit! Oh, shit! and if she's a transformer then wow i mean wow right like I, I i do agree with that but i don't i don't think she will be a transformer i'm just hoping that they do not emasculate jason though i i love me a strong woman but hey man, strong independent line, get your ass out of here, right? Uh, we got Shawn Michaels out there. We're over the top rope, brothers, over the top rope. Uh, Lucia with the Benjis. Can a brother get two pennies? We also had, like, what was it? I, okay, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. We're gonna. Poking fun at America. If I remember, I'll let you know. America, which means that it needs to be close to the source material. I gotta run. The best satire replicates and plays as a mirror. This is what craziest parts of america are actually like people Sadly taking though. instagram selfies with crackheads and absolutely going ballistic in the streets but that's yeah. why it's going to be so freaking fun to take part in the chaos to revel in the darker sides of american society like, america is great it's america cool. is doomed bro like america is not great <laughs> <laughs> yo no, the West is going down, bro. I do agree with that, but dog, this is a video game, bro. This is a video game. This ain't, uh, this is a depiction of real life, the exaggerated version, but like, damn, bro, like... Cool, it's colorful, it's badass, but there's spots of it that are definitely a bit more dangerous and insane yeah, yeah, than yeah. maybe your particular... Th this is why, this is why the game is gonna be for 17+. plus. Now, I guess the rage, the outrage, that's 
around would be absolutely justified had it been that this game was rated for like 13 plus or 12 plus right i agree then i would also be with you with my pitch and forks i would be like yeah brother let's let's actually crack our knuckles let's actually take our controllers and let's do it to our right now i would be with you but but damn it is for 17 plus uh 18 plus in a lot of other countries as well particular town Honestly, every part of this, this looks so good. I'm going to be hanging out in strip clubs. I'm going to be walking down the beach. I'm going to be driving down the sidewalk and running people over like an absolute jerk. But here's the next thing that I'm laughing about. A bunch oh of God. people have actually been saying that we need to ban yo, GTA yo, 6. Now, this is not... Yo, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Time out, time out, time out! <laughs> Pump the brakes, bruh! Just one tweet. I didn't want to show you the other ones because some of them are from... Uh, Big political people. Yeah, don't say the P word. Uh, big political, I know what he meant. Like, Jackson Hinkle. I, I'm like, Bruh. bro, I didn't even hesitate. I was like, okay, let me do <laughs> Let me just bring it up right then and there. Maybe I should be like the homie and not do that. And I don't want to get political in a YouTube video, but th there's- Yeah, yeah, like, uh, same here. This is why I, I don't want to pull, like, any other tweets. I want to stay on topic. Uh, we all can agree that what's happening in the real world is, is sad. Like, jokes aside, everything aside, it is totally sad. Nobody want to see that. I mean, some crazy people want to see that for sure. But but this is a game that is for that is going to be for 17+. Plus and it's going to be the parents' job whether they want to buy their kids this game or not. Listen, man, when I was like 12 years old, we had GTA San Andreas. And sure, like that game had some, some uh, like, you know, Bob's Wagana. But it wasn't like, obviously it wasn't like this though it was uh, the graphics weren't <laughs> the realistic so it was easy for me to convince my parents to buy the game uh and listen man as a 27 years old i'm not chasing the pom pom i'm always saying don't chase the pom pom don't chase the pom pom chase your dreams so i have that positive message for the young generation out there now i'm saying smash the like button subscribe right now for me to have a positive message for the young generation Bruh. but but i do agree that with the graphics and the the, the like all of this here with the mommy milkers hanging around and whatnot it is not a game for the kids though if i was a parent i wouldn't be buying this for my for my kids though you feel what i'm saying i 100 percent wouldn't though so it's the parents job uh, it's the, totally the parents job there's a lot of people that are straight up saying this game is somehow evil and is going to taint the minds of the youth this game is going to make young people's mental health so much worse. We need to ban GTA 6. I mean it's the, the young people health is all mental health is already ruined like if this is gonna ruin it like two, five, or ten percent more, then what's what's the damage? Bruh. This what's tweet damage, has thousands bro? of likes. Five thousand people like this tweet of a woman with luscious yeah. chest sweater melons. This is just booba. <laughs> booba is completely fine. Look at that. Yo, Sees a woman standing. Yo, what do you say, bro? That man. What? Just booba. <laughs> booba is completely fine. Look at that. Sees a woman standing. What the heck? The weirdest thing to me is the people that watch the trailer and are upset about the female protagonist. There's a male protagonist and a female protagonist. I think they both look incredibly cool. Their names are Lucina and Jason. Wow. Uh, sort of looks like a Bonnie and Clyde style story. Uh, honestly, I'm super invested in that. And I mean, it definitely helps the fact that this woman has a, an ass so fat you could bounce quarters off it. And I'm going to. But Damn. here's the there, thing there that I've actually are, been the most uh, in this is what i'm talking about i'm like bro chill bro hey man hey man hey yo what hey yo what like what you what did he say run that back bro he's gonna what clap or off it and i'm going and i mean it definitely helps the fact that this woman has a an ass so fat you could bounce quarters off it and i'm going to but here's the thing that i've actually been the most uh, inspired to make this video about because it's just so i mean dumbfounding apparently Twitter has outright shadow banned Rockstar's, Rockstar's YouTube, YouTube, from YouTube link night. from Holy. last night. This has been verified by a lot of sources. I'm going to show them to you here because it's Yo, just... Yo! I heard about this though. I didn't know that was real. Because I saw that this Linda Street, right? Where she was like, uh, Hello Rockstar Games. Gaming is one of our most popular topics drop that trailer here give the people on x what they want and then rockstar games did uh put out the trailer natively on twitter or x as they like to call it x i mean bruh yeah. you feel what i'm saying so yeah they did that and now i believe they unbanned it but that is crazy that they did that so baffling uh yeah it's right here 
Uh, Rockstar Games, this is the CEO of Twitter right here. I guess they call it Crazy. X. I'm never going to call it X. It's Twitter. She's like, hey, gaming is one of our most popular topics. Drop that trailer here. Give the people on X what they want. And then they didn't do it. Rockstar they Games obviously is trying to... <laughs> uh, there's a media tactic called the thunderclap where you get everybody to focus on their one. attention at a particular spot yeah, of the internet. Yeah, on YouTube, on YouTube, and that's what matters, though. YouTube is the main thing right now. So they wanted on YouTube, all the eyes on their YouTube channel. This is why they also had auto copyright blocking protection. This is why when I uploaded my trailer reaction yesterday and when other people tried to do it as well, they just couldn't right now. I can show the trailer right now everybody can show their trailer in real speed but yesterday when the trailer first leaked out they did it because if the trailer was to leak out which is exactly what happened the trailer leaked out we saw the burna getting leaked out early as well and they had auto copyright protection where if somebody uploads that trailer on YouTube it will automatically be blocked this is why the leak version had by BTC written on it in the middle and 144p quality because they wanted to get away but they uploaded that on Twitter first right so Rockstar forgot that other social media exists so they cannot block that trailer and they didn't want it to take it down so because the cat was out of the bag if they were to take it down somebody else would upload and then it's like a wildfire just like what happened last year once the gameplay leak was out once we saw that Lucia Verna uh, the alpha version Bruh. last year it was everywhere though we made a video everybody made videos on it so they were like okay we're just gonna release the trailer they ended up releasing the trailer it was wild uh my video got blocked as well Bruh. then we had to slow it down watch it in slow-mo and then i was able to upload then a couple of hours later they lifted the entire copyright protection from the trailer i, I believe if the if the trailer wasn't leaked had it been the trailer wasn't leaked we were we would have been getting the trailer today at 9 a.m eastern Early in the morning, December 5th, on December 5th, depending on when you're watching, just letting you know the time and date, it was supposed to come out uh, on December 5th, 9 a.m. Eastern. Had it been it came out at the right time, I don't think we would have had any copyright problem. I think you would be able to upload the trailer reaction right then and there without any problem, but I mean, plans were definitely changed. Obviously, they wanted the biggest trailer in the world, and they achieved that. They did that because they focused everybody directly there, and everybody's laughing about the fact that, look, look at this, anytime you try and search it, the tweet is unavailable. Everybody is replying to it because though. it's like, uh... Yo, Elon! Are you really doing that, Elon? Where'd that tweet go? Twitter is limiting the reach of GTA 6's trailer because it has a YouTube link. While you can view it directly, you can't see it if you're viewing a reply. It yeah, seems it to seems be retaliation really for not posting the trailer on Twitter. Now, yeah, that is absolutely wild. And obviously, some of you already know that if you post a link, if you didn't know, well, hey man, uh, the more you know, right? The more you know. If you post a link on any social media, they will try to hinder your post reach. They will make sure, they, they will cock block you essentially, Bruh. where they don't want that post to be seen by as many people as possible. So that's the truth, right? That that happens to everybody. But this is completely different where, you know, I, this actually has happened to me though, I'm not gonna lie. I was clicking on some links and it did say the post is unavailable or in fact, I was clicking on the replies. For example, uh, in this post, you guys can see Among Us, right? So you click on the Among Us tweet, you're to see the tweet on your timeline you click on it and then boom uh you will see the reply but above it will say the post is unavailable it actually happened to me yesterday i just thought that it was the leak trailer uh and uh this and the trailer was taken down this is what i thought but i guess now i know it was not the leak trailer it was the official youtube link and twitter x they didn't want people to go over because this trailer crazy this is breaking the internet dead ass though i seen one comment on my community tab on the youtube youtube community tab one guy did say that skizzle it's not breaking the internet i mean guys it is wrong it is breaking the internet suckers are demanding to cancel the game right now, now. here's the extra funny part for some reason, Elon Musk is Yo. coming out against Grand Theft Auto Yo. 5. <laughs> Yo, this he is says that tried but didn't like some doing crime. Hey, yo, I mean it's a game, bro. It's absolutely real. I'm. Uh, it seems like Photoshop. Uh, right moist here, moist critical. critical. The moist fan himself says this is the most pathetic thing I've ever read here. <laughs> Here's the games I've not played, GTA 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, <laughs> and so he says, I tried. Duh, GTA 6 ain't even out, wait till it comes out. Okay, here's the thing. 
wait till GTA 6 comes out and then you can post about, uh, hey, I'm not gonna play GTA 6 and it's perfectly fine. Sega's gonna like it, Sega's gonna hate it. Perfectly fine, guys. Drop a like for me to be rational out here. But I didn't- And me to be brave, uh, like the video for me to be brave and stunning and brave, stunning and brave. Like doing crime. Grand Theft Auto 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. I just couldn't do it. Buddy, this is a crime simulator. <laughs> This feels like one of those, uh, dude, this is a windy. My IQ points are dropping by every second. <laughs> every second I'm getting a 10% decline right now. I apologize on their behalf, ladies and gentlemen, if I actually ruin and I am the contributing factor of your IQ points dropping. I apologize, but guys, click on this video on the screen. We had a one hour long gameplay leaks, official trailer breakdown, reactions, opinions, takes hot takes some good takes some bad takes uh the entire leaks walkthrough as well it, this is a massive video click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there there's a lot of bunda in that one too bro